Hello, I'm Scott, this is a Centurion, and today it's going to be an unboxing. It's going to be a first impressions, and it's going to be a little bit of history on the house that I'm showing you. But first, I'm going to show you the unboxing, and then we'll get back to it. Right, so here we go. Right, well, this is the unboxing side of it. Now, what I'll do, obviously, is I will give you the unboxing and then after that, I'm then going to wear it for a couple of days and I'm going to get to know the fragrance a little bit and then I'm going to give you a more in-depth sort of first impressions. But let's get into the box. It's rather a big box. There's only one fragrance, so it's all a bit of a secret. Right, so let's get into the box. Now... This was rather a bargain. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it because um, I'm not comfortable in doing that. But let's just say that I got this for a very, very, very good price. Um, it's not one that has been seen on YouTube very often. And I have not ever, ever seen one in real life. All I know is that it's pretty damn good presentation. Alright, let's get rid of the box, get rid of that, and where are, oh we've got some samples in there as well by the looks of it, so where are we, let's get packed into it, trying not to cut himself, this is where we get a mountain of, I'll just pop the knife down there, a mountain of just a couple of samples, I won't go into them. Right, this is move that out of the way. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Noir Premier Lalique Fleur Universel. This is Cracking presentation. Take that out. Let's have a look. As you can see, it says 1900. These are all e uh, different years as to um, importance within uh, Lalique's history. So if you used to look it up online, you find out a lot more. Um, but this is supposed to represent when, I believe, when René Lalique went from the jewellery side of things into the glass making side of things. And um, he opened up, I think he opened up his first shop in something like 1926 or something like that. But it's around this era that, um, that he, this is representing anyway. And here we have the box. Just have to come right to the side here. Oh wow. Beautiful box, isn't it? And inside we have a little notebook. I will go into more detail there that sits in there nicely let's have a look at this beautiful beautiful bottle then oh wow oh look at that Fleur Universal as I said I'll be wearing this for for a couple of days and then I will get back to you. So thank you very much. I shall see you all very, very soon. Right, so you've seen the unboxing. That's getting down to business. Right, now what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little brief history about what this bottle is actually about because it is really significant. And it was something that I started to look into deeper and deeper and it made the purchase 
even more valuable to me than it was in the beginning. Um, right, but just quickly, and I just got a thumbprint print on that. Quickly, that is a box. You've seen it before, but I wanted to show you like that. Let's get into it. That is the bottle. Beautiful presentation, isn't it? And um, if I take the bottle out right now, sorry about that. Now, this came out in 2014, and the nose behind this is Julie Massé. Um, she is the nose behind most, if not all, of the fragrances from Shea and Blue, um, amongst other things as well. Um, now, let's get into the, the slight history of it as uh, before we get on to the actual fragrance. So what I'll do is I will leave in the description a link to Lalique's website and they've got a bit there where you can go through all the different um, points of history that were really important to Lalique. Um, but yeah, let's get on to this, this one in, in particular. Anyway, I will show you some pictures up here of the original bottles that this is fashioned on. Even though they're not the same, there's a nod to the original um, bottles in this. Now, I haven't got a picture up there of this bit, but Lalique is very famous for doing swallows, and they've done a few of their bottles with four swallows on the top. Now, even though this design of bottle sort of resembled one called the Quatre Aigles, which means the four eagles, I believe. This is for swallows, and I don't know if you can see that on top. Let me just see if I can shine that up a little bit more. It's grubby, and my hands on it. I don't know if you can see that. You can see four swallows, I think. I'll just move it slightly. But beautifully done. The first black bottle that Lalique done, I think was done in something like 1911, 1912, and uh, the bottle that I'm now showing you now has got the eye as well, which means the first bottle, and that's the eye from Roman numerals. Now this has that same Roman numeral, if you see that. It's quite cleverly done, isn't it? So there's that nod to it as well. And then these bits, I don't know if you can see them bits, now it probably isn't going to be obvious to you straight away, but they are actually wings if you imagine like dragonfly wings and that is on the figure on the bottles that i've shown you there draping down and that's exactly what that is a nod to that as well so that made it really really quite important to me because it's even though it's a modern bottle it's to me as part of history it's a reminder of what what beauty was in fragrances back then compared to some of the monstrosities we see nowadays. But anyway, onto the fragrance itself. Now, as I said, it's called Fleur Universal. Um, it's the Noir Premiere range, and this one is 1900. Now, there's, like I said, go into the website, there's more to do with the history. Um, the notes on this, top note is, top notes are rum, cardamom, pink pepper, then the mid notes of myrrh, cinnamon, and immortal. And then base, there is Tonka, Lorenox, and Patchouli. Now, right at the top, you get, I'll spray again, so I have already once. Right at the beginning, for the first 15, 20 minutes, you get a heavy rum note. And it is like sniffing out neat rum out of a glass. But that doesn't, like I said, it doesn't last long. So that's gone within 20 minutes. And then after that, you get a spicy, balsamic, ambery, woody fragrance. Um, you've got the spiciness obviously coming from the cardamom, the pink pepper, and the cinnamon as well. Um, they, they're working together along with the Immortal. Now, Immortal is a bit strange to me. I don't know a great deal about it. I don't know if I possess any fragrances if i do i can't remember of that note inside them it's also known as the curry plant um i don't get no curry from that whatsoever what i do get though from what i've read as well is a dryness like a hay a dry hay type of note 
which is really quite nice. The Immortal plant is obviously named Immortal because of its longevity. Um, it's got amazing healing qualities apparently as well. It's supposed to keep you young. And I believe there was a Greek god, I can't remember from the top of my head, that they crowned with a, a like a crown of immor the Immortal plant. Um, that plant is supposed to have um, rejuvenating properties to it, um, hence the immortal bit. Um, yeah, that, that, that brings out the dryness of this fragrance. And then you've got Lorinox in there as well, which adds an ambery, leathery nuance to it as well. And it's, it's really, it's, it's a very pleasant fragrance. I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm head over heels with it, but I think it's a very beautifully done fragrance. It's very cleverly done. Um, I'm so pleased that I've bought it because there's nothing that I've got that smells like it. My partner absolutely loves it. Uh, performance on it is average performance. I would say you're getting between six to eight hours out of it. Um, depending on how heavy you go on the spray, I would imagine. I've only been wearing it for a couple of days. Um, but I'm really, really happy with it. There's a, there's a slight hint of sweetness to it as well, which helps with the the um, ambery side of it. Sort of like a, a slight honey type of smell. And I think that's coming from the Immortal as well. And then you can also get like a, a faint tobacco -ness as well. So there's a lot going on in there but it isn't at huge strengths. So, I mean, I don't think projection is gonna be massive on this. It's quite a close, close fragrance. Um, that is why I think uh, it would be an ideal fragrance for someone professional, someone who attends meetings, someone that doesn't want to offend maybe, because um, it's, there, there's a classiness to it, but it's not, ostentatious or anything like that it's it's a bit sort of it will draw people in because they will wonder what it is um but all in all it is a beautiful fragrance a, a great creation i'm so pleased i've bought it the presentation is out of this world um it's on the same par as like your full presentation of killian and things like that it is that good um, but that is Fleur Universal, um, the Noir Premiere Editions by Lalique. Um, I hope you liked the video. I haven't bored you too much. Um, do check out that website. If you did like the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below. And I will see you very, very soon. And please, please stay safe. Thank you.